Hello YouTube. This is the last video I'm going to make, I promise, of my little mini Thunderbolt. But I have one more thing to show you off because the proof of concept that I had to make this little meter actually works. So what you see right there are Thunderbolt choppers that I've printed to fit into my model. But I don't just have any Thunderbolt choppers. I have Let me get this up here a little bit. I have a five port, single tone. I have a four port. I have a five port for dual tone. And I have a six port. So what I have done is I have devised, and it actually works, a quick change system where I can swap out very quickly chopper wheels and change this Thunderbolt so that it can either be single tone, 4, 5, 5, 6, or really any combination of ports that I want that I could print out. And so there you see a close up of the hub system and this is my first Siren, where the chopper system is supported on both ends with the bearing, there is actually another bearing, just like in the real Thunderbolt, in the top of the cap, so that everything in the tiny space that I have for it to work stays centered. So we are going to demonstrate now all the different port ratios that we have available to us, at least for me right now. So first things first, we are going to have single tone. Report. And the five port.
Here is four five. Five six. It rubbed a little bit, but it is a 3D print, so you can't expect to have the best tolerances in the world. I started posting videos of, of the design process back in May. And it's been kind of uh, work on this an hour here, an hour there. So now, the classic 5.6, which you have heard before, but in Chopper 3 level, I think I now have it up to, I think I have this up to Chopper 5 now, or fairly close to Chopper 5. Side here. Yeah, we have a little bit of balance. You don't have to screw it down very tight, just enough so that you feel it start to it starts to grab, and then it will it will stay on there. I have an alignment mark on this so that I know exactly how how this needs to go because being a 3D print it is kind of uh, it is very kind of sensitive to how it's put together with this system that I have here it seems like it works pretty good I've done this several times already before I made this video just to test that this would work and so far no complaints Classic 5-6.
so that is a demonstration of all the different port ratios that we have on Thunderbolt. And really, like I said, I can make this any port ratio I want. All I have to do is design and print out the chopper wheels in Blender and just pop them on there. That's simple. And as you saw me do, it's very quick to change them out. And so far, it's proven to be extremely robust. Again, I said this is going to be the last video that I bug you with on this siren for a while, so I promised that. I just had to show this off because this is the big design feature. That's something you're going to get with one of my sirens that I don't think anybody else has done. So please give this video a thumbs up. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.